Okay, I've just bought a, uh, a Sima X5C1 and I was just curious about how much thrust it developed. And I was just thinking about how to do this and I thought the best way would be to turn it upside down and uh, run it uh, on top of a kitchen scale and the thrust developed would be registered on the scale. Um, I see no particular flaw in that method. So I've just put a, a, a cup there to support the aircraft. I'll tear this, the scale. So it says zero now. I'll, put, I'll turn the aircraft on. I'll place it on the cup upside down. I'll bind it with the transmitter and then I'll run it. Um, you can see that this aircraft with its uh, uh, camera and propeller shields and landing gear plus a rubber band I put there to help keep the, the door closed when it, the battery door closed when it crashes which won't weigh very much it comes in at 106.8 grams so I'm going to run it up to full thrust and you can see there that it uh, runs up to about 268, 269 grams and but it's just it's decreasing now I think because uh, the vibration is, is doing something with the gyros and the flight control system so we'll just it comes back to 106.9 close enough to the starting or 106.8 starting point we'll just run that again It goes up to 260 now, 265, uh, let's just say around about 260 grams. So that's a, so um, that represents uh, 260 total minus 106.8 is 153 grams of thrust. And most uh, quad, 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 quadcopter, quad, quadcopter gurus say you should at least have uh, twice the thrust as the weight of the aircraft. And we can see that the Sima X5C1 um, easily achieves that objective. Uh, thank you for watching.